Hey guys, it's Eric. This is Glenda. We are d and &E Miniature and Board Games. And you know what? A lot of you may have asked, what did we buy at CMON Expo? And what, what was there possibly that we didn't already get from Kickstarters or that... just bought? Correct. Well, the answer is, we took advantage of their clearance racks and got some Rivet War stuff. We played Rivet War several years ago at the Expo, and we got the base game, we got... Uh, a couple other uh, of the expansion, Spearhead, I believe, and War Room. Now, when we played the regular board game of River Wars, we didn't like it. We really liked the re regular board game. It was kind of boring, and but understandably why board. it's in the clearance correct, rack. Correct, correct, correct. But we signed up for one of the special events after hours. That was where we fell in love with River Wars. Correct. Well, we'll have the figures to begin with. The anyway. figures are cool, yeah. River Wars, there's actually a unwritten set of rules out there that you can play River Wars like a miniature game. You don't need the board. All you need is the miniatures and the dice and the cards. And a ruler. Yeah, and a ruler, yeah. <laughs> um, basically, every square counts four inches. It's a pretty simplistic mm. conversion, but the game plays really nice, and you bring in a certain amount of points every turn as reinforcements mm -hmm. in the backside. Uh, you can set it up however you want, turn-based, point-based, victory-based, but the end result is about the same. You either wipe out one side or the other. <laughs> it's cute. Hmm. Characters are so cute. So, right now we're going to open up Heavy Metal. Uh, this brings you the two large tanks. Now I know, your guys are going, why are they unboxing Rivet Wars? That's the game an old is old. game. Hey, you know what, because people... Well, we just want to share what's, you know, for people who didn't buy this. You and, know? and they see it sometimes and they're like, you know what, what's in there? And you know what? Is it cool? It's, we were wondering about Rivet want. Wars because after it was, um, was it the first scene what we went, and then it's like it disappeared. Yeah. So, let's this, revive it. This, <laughs> a, this a, disappeared is probably a good word for uh, the terminology on that one. Dead on, disappeared. But that's why we were one. Faded you know? into oblivion. It did. It did. So. All right. So, we get the different cards. You also get heroes in different turrets that can go along with these. Uh, with this, you get a grenade turret, a pneumatic revolver, Shady Durgle, and uh, Otto Auto. Coleman. So you get you get some pretty good advancements with the tanks. Not that these tanks aren't already good to begin the with, because they're pretty they're, they're pretty powerful in the game. All right. So the tanks themselves. See how can you not like that? How can you not like this. That is... <laughs> and then of course, you, ah, of course you can either put the, the tops on, or you can go ahead and you get the hero character, or you can put the hero character you can't and the additional thing on top. Because, you know, what the heck, let's kill some stuff. That's cute. And as they move, <laughs> that's really cute. And it's the same with this one. You can, you can add, you can put the tank commander... He's yeah. coming. The tank commander on there, like so. Or you can just put the, the hatches, which apparently don't want to come out of this box either. Apparently the allied side just doesn't want to come out. No, Eric. <laughs> oh, wow. Really? Hey, hey I'm uh, trying to help you out too, but, you know... They don't want to come out. They are just really tight. It's okay. It's just... All right. So, you have... The, al the Allied Tank and the Blight Tank. Yeah, Pretty good sized. Uh, it's very hard to take these down in the miniature version of the game. They're very strong weapons. Yeah. Well, the tanks themselves have six hits. So. Yeah, I'm the cute. There you go. Hey, as always, guys, support your local gaming. We support... These Scar Games, Fayetteville, Georgia. Sure it's not Scar Mills. <laughs> As always, guys, game on. Game on. This is so cute.
Isn't that this is one move like 